Hi, welcome to iShoot Watches. My name is Dayton. Uh, today I wanted to do a kind of housekeeping video just about uh, what I'm up to and what's coming up next. But um, something that's really important is that I've, I've done this series of videos about the ETA 2472, including this, this one where I did the full, um, or not full, but almost full restoration of it. And that's like an hour and a half long and I show every detail. And I'm really proud of that video because I think it's really helpful to people to see that whole process. Um, but I wanted to point out that uh, Watch You Seek, there's a, there's a forum called Watch You Seek. And there's a professional watchmaker on there uh, who goes by the username of Archer. And uh, he did like an extensive critique of my video. And I think it's super important if you if you're learning watchmaking and you watch that video, it's super important to watch or to read this um, critique. So I'll put a link to that in the uh, in the description and in the comments for this video. Um, and then um, the things I'm planning on doing next are uh, this. I think is going to be super fun. Um, this is a Let's see how, how to explain this. Um, so this is, a uh, the watch is Bernard Dons and it, it's a small, it's a 32 millimeter case, stainless steel, obviously in the style of a Rolex, um, Rolex oyster case. But so, so I would say that this is a ladies watch and I'm gonna try to um, get this, it's basically, it's basically going to be a, a Franken watch, but the dial is 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 made for the case, I believe. And I got the dial and case with this uh, eighty dollars of um, used or vintage parts that I bought uh, month, six months ago or something. Um, so what's interesting about this is the. Um, the dial is wrong for, I, I want to put it, well, there's a couple things that are interesting about it. One is, it's a 32 millimeter case that has no movement, um, no special movement ring inside. So it fits perfectly, uh, I don't know this the size of this, the, the standard movements, unfortunately, unfortunately, but it's like, Whatever the standard size of ETA 2472 and 2783, um, that's like a very standard diameter. Um, and this this case is made for that. And um, so it's it's a small watch, but it's a full size kind of men's movement or full size movement. Um, and the the and then the other thing that's that's cool about it is that the dial that came with it has the right it keeps the ETA twenty seven eighty three just the right distance away for the the correct alignment of the of the stem into the movement, and that's something if you're trying to, and yeah, so it's something if you're trying to assemble a watch out of parts, you you have to find these magical combinations because if you don't have that that the height of the movement correct relative to the to the crown uh, or the stem tube. You know, which dictates where the where the crown ends up resting vertically. If that's not all correct, or you don't have the correct spacer, you can't just put any movement in any watch. So what's cool about this is that the movement fits. It's automatic movement. It's a beautiful case. It's a nice 32 millimeter um, case size for a woman. It's actually a beautiful dial. Um, and the thing is, the dial has the dial feet in the wrong place for a 2783. So that's why the dial is uh, right now. the 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 stem is in, and the dial is totally twisted because the because I and, and yeah. Anyway, it's not going to be mounted like this in the end. I'm going to remove the dial feet. I'm going to replace uh, replace the dial feet, and and I'll get the dial lined up correctly. And then and then I'm going to swap out. I, there's, I guess, a little bit of complexity of like, this is a 2783. This is also a 2783. This 2783 has some major problem with the um, 
keyless works right now. Like it won't go into the, the winding position. Um, this one is working fine, but the amplitude's a little bit low. This one has a scratched date wheel, and I think this one also has a scratched date wheel. But I have a I have a good date wheel that I took out of my other 2783 when I swapped out the date at, th at 3 o'clock with the date at 6 o'clock date wheel. Date disc, it's called technically. Anyway, there'll be all these kind of fun challenges in... Um, in making this into a perfect watch uh, but and then finally it'll I think the movement because the amplitude is low on the one that's working well the movement also needs a complete uh, overhaul and because I'm comfortable with these ETA movements from this period now um, I think I'll sh I should be able to do another complete restoration on that um, so I think that that I'm not sure that that's my next big project but it's fun to have a project like that the, the reason I'm not doing it this moment is because the I ordered a dial, the tool for, uh, there's like a little hand tool for replacing the dial feet. It comes with spare dial feet. So it's a, a miniature, I forget what the tool is called, but anyway, it's like a $30 tool from China. And then I also needed some case clamps. I'm going to have to make some custom case clamps. There's no adapter ring in that case, but you still need to put the case clamps in there that hold the movement. Uh, so it doesn't shake around within the case. And um, I ordered that from Cousins. So anyway, that'll be a cool project because I think I can complete it. And I think that'll mean that out of that lot of vintage used parts, I will have completed uh, four. I'll have four or five completely, totally working watches out of that. Um, and there's still more parts in there that I can work on. Other, other I could probably end up with more than five working watches out of that. Um, I think that's it. So uh, there's got to be something else I was thinking about. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, thanks a lot, and um, I'll see you in the next one.